we bring together um, ourselves, which includes very highly technical um, people alongside our um, partnered organisations. Uh, to really deliver a capability uh, beyond what we could offer in our own right. If we're going to make a paradigm shift and a change to the way that we do defence, we need to go after these expertise and knowledge. They bring a new way of thinking to the way the MOD does business. They bring technologies that are right at the cutting edge of, of where we are today. So the project we're working on with DSTL and Fraser Nash is looking at how we can take expert human knowledge um, of adversary behaviours in cyber security, encode that into a machine readable format and then use that to train AI agents to do better prediction of uh, what an adversary is trying to do and where they might go to attack your network. Our route in was primarily through Fraser Nash initially. We came in with an initial idea and Fraser Nash very, very quickly uh, helped us reinforce our own beliefs that we had something unique to offer and that was confirmed by Fraser Nash. You know, it can be really difficult for, for an SME to get into these markets and what we pride ourselves on here at Fraser Nash is really helping them get into the market but not only that, showcase the talent and the capabilities that they have because some of the technology that they're delivering and the research that they're doing is phenomenal. Having access to uh, experts in cyber security and in artificial intelligence at both Fraser Nash and DSTL really helped us to hone the product. In the space of nine months we've grown a business of eight people and that's set to grow probably double in the next 12 to 18 months as well. For me it's all about a partnership. You can have a supply chain but people aren't going to want to work with you unless they feel that you do have their interests at heart. We are solving some super, super hard research problems, you know, the confidence that DSTL and Fraser Nash put in this to invest in us to deliver this project has rubbed off on us, which is giving us the confidence to invest and to grow and to seek investment and, you know, to develop a product in a really, really, really tough market. We've been working with DSTL now for about three years. We've really enjoyed the interaction. We send monthly reports, we get feedback from that. And one of the big advantages is we get steered into the direction of travel that the Ministry of Defence want us to go to. As a small company, that's invaluable because it's really hard to get that feedback. And it's just it's an open, interactive, collaborative relationship that we've really valued for the last number of years. Flair Bright came to work with DSGL through the Defence and Security Accelerator Scheme. They submitted a bid for their technology and for, with a proposal for development, which was accepted, it was contracted and it was delivered very quickly. Our innovation is really taking uh, advanced machine learning techniques and applying them to classic real-time embedded systems, which is what runs in the heart of every drone, every system on the planet. So that's what we do, is we apply machine learning to the real world. So what we do is allow a drone to fly in those GPS denied or challenging environments by creating an internal navigation system through software and that solves a whole bunch of problems and allows drones to be created and developed more cheaply, more efficiently and therefore we're less worried about them being um, attritable but actually our solution allows them to get through and complete their mission more likely and pretty much every time. We wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for help from DSTL, who really believed in us, particularly DASA, and believed in our early stage technology in our tiny little company, which was four people when we first got DASA funding, all working in our bedrooms. And now we're 18 people, just opened an office in London. We've got an office here, uh, just outside Oxford. So there's real growth in terms of jobs, and in terms of our technology, that's now being picked up by the United States Department of Defense and also in the civil sector uh, for wind sensing around wind farms and things like that. So I call it the DASA dividend or the DSTL dividend. It's not just about the funding that they put in, which is absolutely critical, get all these extra benefits as well, which have really helped our company grow from next to nothing to quite a successful, uh, well-known company now. Companies like this, the small to medium enterprises are the future. They are at the cutting edge of technology and by supporting them that we can leverage that for the benefit of everybody. 
So at Orca, we are redefining what it means to do advanced computing. We are looking for the ability to derive advantage from emerging technology, to give British forces the edge in battle, to tilt the battlefield, in other words. So our project is to deliver quantum computing to the Ministry of Defence. So it's as, it's as big as that. We and they think that quantum computing is really exciting for the future. It provides a lot of the answers to the future of compute and things like this. Um, I guess what's missing in the landscape, what Orca brings, is this sort of more realistic, more practical view of how to implement quantum computing. It's believed that quantum entanglement will enhance computing in a way that's not possible in any other uh, approach. So not a long time ago we didn't exist, so we're a very new startup, spun out from the University of Oxford, uh, incorporated in 2019. First employee was myself and one other in you know, January 2020. To go from that to a team of approaching 50 people uh, by 2023 is pretty quick. I mean, that's pretty rapid. I think that the direct route into DSTL has been great for us. Um, not only has it been pretty straightforward, but also you do have that direct line into DSTL and MOD. Uh, the Ministry of Defence was our first customer, so we hadn't sold a system to anyone before then. It's important to us to have that opportunity because, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, as a hardware company, you, you're into a completely new world as soon as you actually have to, have to ship hardware. So to be given that opportunity at the stage we were at to do something so exciting, so sort of game-changing for both us and we think the MOD, is, is an unrivaled opportunity, it was, it was great for us. I think people did notice when we were selected as a supplier to DSTL. I think people acknowledge that DSTL and the MOD are pretty switched on customers, they know what they're buying. And that actually spawned the sale of our system to a number of other customers who almost sort of saw DSTL as the gold standard. They'd sort of recognised that the DSTL had done a detailed review of what they wanted and they had ended up selecting Orca. That, that is transformational for us as a company. The experience of working with DSTL and Fraser Nash has been absolutely game-changing. It's allowed us to grow and expand really rapidly. Companies like this, the small to medium enterprises, are the future. If someone had told me six months ago and we'd have grown from two to ten, twelve people in six months, I would have laughed. <laughs> laugh them out the room. It feels much more like a partnership where DSL actually care about us succeeding. To see significant growth of organisations, it is great.